Hello and welcome to PAX headquarters. My name is Berto and I've been involved in the development of the PAX rescue BOA. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate two possible rescue scenarios with the help of the rescue BOA. The BOA is packed tightly in this wrapping, so it doesn't take too much space. And I'm taking it out of the package now. The PAX Rescue BOA has a total length of 3.4 meters and is made for the evacuation of patients from tight spaces, for example from different vehicles. It is constructed with an outer material that is very easy to clean. This outer material originates from aircraft construction that was originally used to make seat covers. You can separate this outer material from the inside with a zipper. And inside you can see a blanket that can also be used to keep warm. You can simply remove it from the carrier material. The carrier material is a continuous belt system. The two ends are PU coated so that they cannot absorb fluids, blood, fuels, brake fluids or the like. The ceiling is also easy to clean and disinfect. Then, when it's dried, you put this blanket back on the carrier material. You just close the boa and it can be used again. The boa was tested for 200 kilos of tensile load and without being damaged. To see how such an evacuation takes place, we made a video with two scenarios that I'd like to show you now. Das ich euch jetzt gerne zeigen möchte. One of the two rescuers ideally approaches from the front and tells the driver not to move. Then he opens the door and fixes the patient's head. Only now can the second person on the opposite side get in, unfasten the seat belt and take over the fixation of the head. Now the size of the S is used. The PAX logo is the center marker. This is brought in front of the larynx. The two ends of the boa are led backwards and crossed in the area of the cervical spine. A gentle, diametrical, tensorical support must be measured and adjusted. After its installation, the PAX rescue boa incision is made. The ends now leading to the front are then put back under the armpits. After the carriage has been positioned on the vehicle with a spine board and set at the height of the seat, the first helper reaches through a loop of the boa and pulls it under its traction. Only then can the second helper release the head and take the patient's pelvis laterally to support the rotation. Tension, rotation and positioning of the patient are a fluent, continuous movement. Because this vehicle has relatively high seats, the second helper must assist in pulling the patient into the final position. After a helper has secured the manual lateral fixation of the head, the first rescuer threads out the boa. To do this, he pulls out the narrowing ends under the patient's neck. The second scenario shows the rescue of the patient via the rear of the vehicle. This is necessary, for example, if the two front doors cannot be opened. Because this vehicle has a large headroom, the boa can also be placed as a pre-prepared sling over the patient's head. A continuous fixation of the head should be ensured. Now a diametric longitudinal tension is exerted and the two ends brought forward are put back under the armpits. As soon as the PAX rescue boa comes under tension, the second person lets go of his head and places the foot of the spine board brought in on the top edge of the backrest. The third person now tilts the backrest so far back that it is parallel to the leg board.
Now the board is placed between patient and backrest, with the two helpers pulling the patient onto the board by means of the bower. The patient is then placed on the stretcher in the final position. The tension on the boa must be maintained until manual fixation of the head. 